You will not get away with trying to pull off having two families, you dirty, low-down dog. I mean, I don't worry about her. I got my own problems. It seems like karma has hit Kevin Hunter like a hurricane, leaving nothing but the ruins of his previous life. It's not a secret that since his infamous divorce from Wendy Williams, Kevin went all the way from riches back to rugs. And this man is basically spiraling down to the lowest point of his existence, covered with thousands, dollars debts, and being abandoned by his partner and baby mama, Sharina Hudson. But what does Wendy think about Kevin's life now? Let's find out. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. So guys, you already know that Sharina Hudson got sick of living with a grown boy who can't get a job and cries over the money he can't have. And it seems like the end of this pathetic affair turned disaster would make a juicy story. And of course, Wendy Williams couldn't stay aside and not to make a comment about Sharina finally dumping her ex. Something very serious happened over the weekend. Something very serious happened over the weekend. And I think that we need to discuss this. So Kevin Hunter probably imagined to soar to the new heights after he broke free from his suffocating marriage with Wendy Williams. However, the reality slapped him hard in the face and now this guy is suffering from the consequences of his questionable life choices. I made him divorced and unemployed all in one day. Let's rewind the tape a little and come back to 2007 when Kevin got tired of his boring routine family life and began a steamy affair with a young woman named Serena Hudson and while some men are being extremely cautious when having a mistress, it seems like Kevin was incredibly naive or simply loved to play with fire because his affair with Sharina was basically in the open. And even Wendy herself knew about it since the beginning. Our marriage. I've known about her almost since the beginning. I've known that Kevin is a serial cheat. I, the first time I found out was while I was pregnant. At least it explains why Kevin felt so free to do the seemingly unimaginable things. And he has been constantly testing the boundaries of the lengths he can go, not only by keeping a mistress, but also dipping into his then wife's pockets to fund Sharina's opulent lifestyle. And boy, what a toxic example for everyone this man has been. He didn't limit himself with a couple of earrings and fancy dining. He went so far that he openly sponsored his mistress's business ideas. As Wendy said in her after-divorce statements, she was totally okay with Kevin sleeping around. But then the situation became more serious because Kevin began squandering family's riches and hoped to make Sharina a successful businesswoman. Right. You know, Kevin is smart, but Kevin's delivery was trash. Uh, was, his business delivery was trash. However, Wendy didn't have to worry about Sharina shining bright in the world because every idea, from massage therapy to clothing brand, miserably failed. And that's why Kevin continued stealing the family money to provide for his mistress. But you may think if Sharina's ideas couldn't turn into millions, so it basically led to Kevin just leaving all attempts to dig into family's bank account for more cash for his mistress. You know, I pray to God for this moment. But in reality, he was so eager to prove the whole world that he can produce another celebrity that he doubled his effort and started to dig into Wendy's pockets with his both hands. And I'm lost the count of the number of startups Kevin sponsored using Wendy's millions. But knowing that the TV diva was making around $55,000 per episode of her show, it didn't seem much of a problem for Kevin. Now, if you're thinking how Kevin could have access to that much money, well, let's not forget that he was given a role of Wendy's producer. And boy, it was such a great opportunity for him to make a name for himself and become a powerful and influential producer. But he felt okay with accepting salary from his own wife and didn't even think of finding another celebrity or a project to work on. Somewhere on the way, Wendy came to realize that she and Kevin are going different ways in life because he failed to mature. I outgrew Kevin. I, I outgrew him. I outgrew him personally and I outgrew him professionally. And they could have probably stayed together for more years to come with Wendy working hard and Kevin wasting their money recklessly. However, it all went down the drain for him when he fathered the child with his mistress and that became the last straw of Wendy's patience. You know, infidelity is one thing. A full baby is a whole nother topic. Wendy wasted no more time putting up with this man and she filed for divorce. However, in a shocking turn of events, Kevin didn't protest and he quickly moved in with Sharina Hudson and even proposed to her with a ridiculously expensive diamond ring, which the girl didn't hesitate to flaunt right away. But what Kevin's so confident in his financial stability after the divorce? Well, a huge chunk of cash that Wendy agreed to send him every month as a compensation for terminating his contract as her producer and getting divorced. But even when Wendy agreed to pay him alimony, she already knew where this money would go. Yeah, right guys, for another Gucci bag to please Sharina. Because this man's financial decisions have been insane and this is what Wendy couldn't understand about him. If I have $1,000, I'd rather go get a good checkup than buy a handbag. Well... Things seemed to be settled for Kevin now that he didn't have to pretend living his double life. But as you know, his happiness didn't last long because alimony money stopped coming after Wendy left her show. 
As Wendy's attorney patiently explained to enraged Kevin, if, for any reason, the plaintiff's contract with Talk with Talk W is not renewed and ER is otherwise suspended, canceled, or terminated in Pepe Days, not have any other television show being aired and paying her an equivalent salary, defendants understands and agrees that all severance payment shall be subject to either termination or modification. So Kevin's financial hopes vanished into thin air and many people even suspected that Wendy played him big times. Probably she wanted to teach him some financial responsibility, but as fans state, it's all karma because he had never deserved a single dime anyway. As one person commented, well, what goes around comes around. He deserves every karma coming his way. You don't disrespect people and think you should get good things coming your way. And another user added, go to work, you and your baby mama, Kevin. You shouldn't have made promises with someone else's money. Karma doesn't have any exclusive address, even when you think you're a king. As it turned out, Wendy has had no income since the moment her contract with the show was terminated. And since she didn't intend to work on daytime TV in the nearest future, she was free from paying any alimony to her cheating ex. However, this shocking turn of events only enraged Kevin and made him so desperate that he lashed out at his ex-wife and her legal team and basically called them all thieves. Jaded because of some stealing and some misuse of funds. And if you remember the drama that followed, it was steaming hot. And by that time, Kevin adopted a motto that desperate times require desperate measures. So he went on from simply reasoning with Wendy and her lawyers to some serious actions. Apparently, seeing his last dime slipping through his fingers made Kevin to finally take the matters in his own hands. So he filed a lawsuit against his ex-wife and basically confessed in his poverty, saying, I have fallen behind on most of my bills. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowners association and I'm behind on that bill. But losing again and again didn't teach us anything. And in the end, he found himself in a dire financial position where he couldn't even pay the bills and his car insurance. As Kevin stated, the fact that I am unable to sustain my life and pay my bills in order is extremely emergent to me. I cannot pay my bills and sustain my day-to-day -day living. We all know his day-to-day -day expenses, and they include another luxury bag, which he currently cannot afford. So no wonder that Sharina decided to flee and take all the gifts. She can make more money by reselling them than Kevin can make now. And since the news travel fast, they may have already reached Wendy and seeing his agonizing ex suffering from a treachery probably heals her own wounds. Uh, we were meant to be together for 25 years. I was plotting. So basically, Wendy says that if plotted her way out of a toxic marriage, she doesn't see why Sharina should stay with this man if he cannot satisfy her needs anymore. She believes that Kevin made a mistake when he had chosen to keep Sharina thinking that she would be loyal. And this is the price he has to pay now for his errors. But on the other hand, she's allowed to go on with her life. Well, it seems like Wendy is fully satisfied with how this story played out because this lesson may teach Kevin to be more responsible in his life. This man truly believed that he could sip his tea from two cups at the same time, but in result, his life is only falling apart? And let it be just a reminder of what goes around comes around and karma doesn't need your address to find you even a few years after your wrongdoing. As one person commented, he deserves everything that he gets in sad part is when he talked bad about her. When she was sick, God don't sleep. I hope he really suffers. And it's not over, Kelvin. And another user added, Wendy, you played that well, not let's snap out of this funk that you're in and get back on track with your health. My hope is that Kevin will find a way to pick up the pieces of his ruined life. And this situation will teach him a lot about financial responsibility and being faithful. Until then, we'll be waiting for a new chapter of this scandalous story. And what do you reckon? Has Kevin learned his lesson? Or will he try to get back with Wendy now that he's broke? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, check my other videos about this family drama. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. And I promise to be back very soon.